Hey guys, so, uh, wow, my last video on this compressor went pretty crazy, uh, at least by my standards. So hello new subs. To be honest, it fills me with crippling imposter syndrome, but instead of making excuses, I just want to say I will do my best for everyone who's left after the algorithm forgets about me. I was serious about having books to write, and I probably won't have time for more compressor videos for a few months. I definitely want to do more, I want to try other bigger motors and see how far this will go. I also want to develop another one that's optimized for pressure and could maybe run something like an airbrush, but we'll all just have to be patient. Or, you know, not. I wasn't, so let's call this a bonus video in return for all the nice comments. So, you know you want one, but you're just not sure what you'd do with it. Besides for the funsies. You, friend, need a use case, that's all, and I've got your back. As long as your back wants to blow on stuff, make messes, or feel cooler. I got plenty of questions, I'm still getting questions, on the last video about what it can do. It's not enough pressure to fill a tank, but it's also less airflow than a proper blower. Even so, it's actually in a good zone for blowing on stuff. With the right attachment, at least. Because it builds enough pressure to play with fun effects like laminar flow, kawanda, and airflow multiplication. I knocked together some designs to experiment with those, and I think they turned out really cool. In fact, the only reason I made this video was because I was too excited about these to wait until Christmas to share them with you. So let's see what they do. Up first, we've got this foot guy. Uh, technically, I think it's an air edger, and it generates 16 little laminar flow jets, but I mean, come on, it's totally a foot with 16 toes. Toes that blows. Uh, the air comes out really fast and smooth. It feels cool to run along your skin. Uh, it's like, it feels like those super fast air knife hand dryers. In real life, these are imaginatively sold as air nozzles. It entrains some air, so the jet sucks in more air along with it, and from far away it's got a nice cooling effect. It reminds me of the overhead air nozzles on airliners. Close to the nozzle, you can see how straight the airflow is. It's really powerful. Also, the jet this produces stays focused for a surprising distance. You can choose your target from across the room. It's a lot of fun. Third up, we've got this bladeless fan. I read some studies on how to optimize these before I designed it, but all I really came away with was that they're pretty hard to mess up, except in terms of how much noise they make. I think the cross section is really cool. I was pretty surprised by how much air it moves, and I think it looks awesome in the humidifier test. My only gripe with the first design was that the airflow had a strong upward angle, there's nothing to stop it from blowing sideways through the exhaust slits, so I was kind of expecting that might happen. I tried adding some outlet veins. They did mostly fix the angle, but the second one feels a little weaker and it's noisier. This one has been my favorite from the first time I turned it on. It's every bit as fun as it looks, and I would go so far as to say that the entire compressor build would be worth it just to goof around with this. Fourth up, a Venturi vacuum. This uses the same air entrainment effect, blowing high pressure air to move other air along with it, except instead of entraining air from outside the nozzle, it entrains it from inside to suck stuff in and then blow it out. It's kind of like if you want a vacuum, but instead of a vacuum cleaner, let's have a vacuum measure? 
it probably could use some optimization because the vacuum effect isn't very strong. It's good enough to pick up 6mm BBs because they almost fill the straw, but it could barely pull up any of this iron ore that I got off Lake Michigan Beach. This stuff is pretty fun. Anyway, these are all shared on printables if you want to try them. The links are in the description. They're small prints and only the Venturi vacuum even needs supports. So what's stopping you? Well, I guess you'll have to build the compressor first. And speaking of optimization, if you think you can do better, go for it and leave a comment linking to your work so we can all appreciate it. All you need is a 22 millimeter hose barb. Just, it's not complicated. Copy my designs if you want. Heck, and if enough people link designs down there, I might print a few, and we could make a video later where I test them out. Nozzle showdown, anyone? Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, stay safe, print strong, check out my books, link in the description. Peace! Ugh. <laughs>